All right. Okay, so uh, an established yet bad archetype in the old historic format was Omni Flood, where we use Flood of Tears when we have four permanents in play to floop everything to everyone's hand and then put Omniscience into play. And then you have a combo of either, well, in the old version, you would play Granted from Fae of Wishes, you would grab Mastermind's Acquisition from your sideboard, and then you would use Mastermind's Acquisition to grab Scholar of Ages. You put Scholar of Ages into play, you pick up Mastermind's Acquisition and Flood of Tears from your graveyard, and then you loop those three cards using Mastermind's Acquisition to pick a card from your deck every single time until you have all your cards out of your deck, and then you use your last Mastermind's Acquisition to grab Fast's Oracle and win the game. Issues with that deck were it was strictly blue-green, so it had no interaction, and it was heavily click-intensive. Because, again, it's a once you get the loop started, it is a three-card loop that you have to pick a card from your deck every time you loop, then you have to go through all 60 of your cards, and then eventually get Thassa's Oracle to win the game. Solutions. We're now splashing black, well, splashing, heavy air quotes. We actually have double black cards here, but we get to have Heartless Act, Ritual of Soot, and we can main deck Mastermind's Acquisition, which gives us more copies of our Wish Package. Um, and we now get to play Emergent Ultimatum. Search your library for up to three monocolor cards with different names and exile them. An opponent chooses one of those cards, shuffle that card into your library. You may cast the other cards without paying their mana cost, which means... We can grab two wishes and an omniscience. Or two wishes and a flood or whatever we need. Like a wish, a flood, and an omniscience. Whatever we need, we can. if we need one or two cards, we can either grab uh, one wish and the two cards we need or two wishes and the one card we need, and then we're good. Um, so that's cool. That's what the black gives us. But how do we fit all these cards into our deck, you ask? Easy. We're playing Yorion, which does not solve the 60-card problem. It makes the 60-card problem much worse. <laughs> because now we have 80 cards in our deck. So when we combo, it takes forever. But we're going to see how this goes anyway. Um, yeah. I, I tried to keep the wishboard very small. So we have Omniscience, we have Scholar, we have Flood, we have Mastermind's Acquisition, which are all part of the combo, and Thassa's Oracle, which is all part of the combo. And then we also have one Virulent Plague, one Unmoored Ego, as sort of like silver bullets that we can wish for. Um, but then we also have like an actual sideboard. We have Thought Erasure, Mystical Dispute, and Ashiox Erasure. Ashiox Erasure is in here because it's a permanent I don't know, man. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not here. I'm not here to ask like real, legitimate questions. I'm here to meme. Ashiox Erasure is a permanent that is also an answer. So like we can answer a problem that we have that's on the stack, but then it also counts towards our Flood of Tears count because like once we Flood of Tears, we don't care if they have this card in their hand. So that's the idea. Uh. Are the permanents that we're putting in play, we have obviously the Fey, we have Omen, uh, Wolf Willow Haven, the Crystal here, and Tamio. Tamio is also like a light part of the combo where you can, if you have four permanents and one of them is Tamio, you can down tick to pick up Flood of Tears and then Tamio. So, uh, no, I did not. All right, let's. Uh... <sighs> Let's go burn some more gems, shall we? You did miss it. We we hit it in the first game. <laughs> Our opponent uh, was not afraid of scape shift, so we got to we got to hit it in the first game. Every single card that lets you play. <laughs> yeah. They were playing, like, Mono Green Stompy. They actually won. Like, we played out three games, and, and they beat us fair and square.
<sighs> Only two lands, and neither of them is a scry land. Uh, it doesn't look like our opponent's playing a companion. I'm going to mulligan this. I have regrets. That's why we have triomes, right? Right? Please? <laughs> ah, yes. They played a mountain and I drew another land. Oh, wrong thing. So, oh god, we're so dead. We're so dead. Um... We have 43% lands in our deck, basically. So that's like... What? No, that's not what I was telling you to do, you piece of crap. No, no, I know how math works. Hold on. It's like having 26 lands. I, I would rather... So I opted not to do that because I don't have a ton of basics. Yeah, exactly. We need more basics. So that's why I have the uh, artifact instead of uh, the omen. All right. Well, well, shoot. Regrets. I killed the wrong one. I killed the wrong one. I killed the wrong one. Okay. This. This. One. <laughs> we might just end up flooding as a. Eh, they have all haste creatures, so. I think we just play a 4-5. Yeah. Then we can blink this and put it on our forest, and now our forest makes two... <laughs> it doesn't matter. Actually, it'll matter post-game that we put Wolfula Haven on basic lands because they might bring in the Goblin. that uh, hits non-basic lands. Plus fires. I mean, that's kind of like, that's kind of like the omniscience plan. I don't, it, it doesn't work as well. I am blocking every time. Sure, you have Ember Cleave. This is still a trade for me. <laughs> they could have field of ruin. Eh, I don't think girl plays field of ruin. All right, Let's cycle this bad boy. So you like bring in Yorion, you blink your fire so that you don't have to worry any worry about it. Yeah, I get that. Did I? So my main deck is set up for aggro, quote unquote. We're gonna learn how how good this card is. Yeah, flood would have like saved me for a turn, but then they could have played a haste creature and equipped it, etc. So I wanted I wanted a more permanent solution. Uh, yeah, that's, that's kind of the conclusion I'm coming to. But it is a little early in the set. Gosh, if this was just...
another pet the cat. Like Flood of Tears was was uh play to not lose. Well, the good news is we we have our permanence going. Destroy target creature with comfort switch. <laughs> yeah. That actually seems really good. Ugh, cat hair everywhere. Poke me for one? Sure. I gotta shock this in, that kinda sucks. But not enough cat hair. They love you, bud. Blech. A reason to not play easy prey. <laughs> uh, four, five, six, seven. We're so dead. We're so very. Girl's still good. Uh, we tried to dirtle and they killed us. So if I play this, that puts me up to four, five, six. And this costs seven. And I'd only have two permanents anyway. Four, five, six, seven. Puts us down to four. Uh... Yes. And cleave. None of it mattered anyway. None of it mattered anyway. <laughs> All right. Maybe we'll get to tinker with the deck I was tinkering with. <laughs> nah, it's fine. I like Luca. I paid for Luca. I'm playing Luca. <laughs> yes, it's clearly not the fact that uh, we did nothing for numerous turns. So, Heartless Act kills a variety of things in the Gruel matchup that. I don't know, it's tough. Like, there's enough overlap with Heartless Act and Cast Down that it's really hard to tell which one is best. Uh, just mono aggro, you say. Where's our Stompy opponent that we had last time? I guess I could untap land to put in crystal. No. Let's let's draw action. Heartless act is a good draw. I mean it only kills this, but Ooh, that was a great draw. Oh, you love to see it. My stream decker is super messed up. Probably, I think I know why. Ch -ch -ch -ch. 
Yeah, okay. I know why. I didn't I didn't edit it, so it messed it up. Oh uh, god. Oh lord. Um I had to like resubmit it to fix it. Uh, it's because of how, yeah, I can't, I can't even do it right now. I'm going to have to do it after this match. If we're still playing this deck after this match. Well, I'll do it for the YouTube at least. Uh, backup flood back or backup set. Sure. It doesn't matter what we fetch because we have double everything. This into play, put this into play. So now we need like emergent and we're good. So much so that I'm just going to cycle this right now. Maybe, maybe I shouldn't have cycled that. Maybe I should have just done this because I would have gotten more looks with omens. Another place where Heartless Act is less good than you would hope. Because, like, if they gain life, they get to put counters on things. Yorion not dying to Ritual of Sit's pretty sweet. these back just looking for combo pieces just looking for combo pieces good gravy bill I guess we have an 80 card deck, so I can't really complain, but like, come on. Vanishing Light. They're gonna regret that. Uh, 
I want to do this. Mm. Yeah. So the awkward part is they get a mana like immediately, but I want to do this now so that I can have these omens blinked in at their end step instead of my end step. All aboard the snake bird. Snake serpent. Or bird serpent. There we go. No. I want combo pieces. Bottom good cards. Draw lands. Combo player's life. That is technically potentially a combo piece. What do I look for? I only have two copies of Emergent. Because I didn't have anything to do with two mana? What, what did you want me to do with two mana? I had Maelstrom Pulse, Ritual of Soot, and Triome. That literally two mana does nothing. All that blink value, right? Yorion Beats is a decent backup plan, I guess. I mean, they have Legion's Landing and Heliod out at that point. Like, what am I what am I drawing to? Right, well, there's a Masterminds acquisition, so that's cool. That's neato. Kill this. This is dying, which makes me sad. Mm, maybe I was supposed to kill this, but... They're potentially putting two things into play this turn that I can just ritualist it next turn. And then EOT, I'm going to scry a million times. Blech. That's a problem. That's a reason to kill this that I was not thinking about. Well, shoot. At least she doesn't have reach. Okay, so literally if I had killed this, this wouldn't be active. No, it would. It'd still be active. Cool. Doesn't matter. Rats. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten.
right? We have omniscience. Oh, yeah, I guess or it was, uh, was it? No, I'd be one sh... Mm, you're right, you're right, you're right, you're right. Yeah. That's true. I'm just looking for combo pieces, and Uro isn't one, which is why I didn't do that, but you're right. Gonna set an upkeep, stop. So that I can scry a couple times. I bottomed you, thank you. Excuse me, but I bottomed you. <laughs> How dead am I? Like, I'm literally just a flood? For a scrybug in an 80 card deck, right? I bottomed two of these. Like, do I make a 2 2 here? Or do I just hope to draw Flood or Fade next turn? I have four, four Fae, three, um, three Flood, and one uh, Masterminds in my deck. Make a wolf to block the primate if they go. Yeah, they have. I'm just gonna put this in tapped and pass the turn. Don't kill me. And this is on top of their deck. Yeah, two wardens here. The only thing I've lost is this. So I went from nine to to eight. Eight in forty six cards. Eleven. All right, let's get the win. Let's get the win right now. I block here. I'm dead. Ah, oh, we were so close. Gosh. It's like putting 80 cards in your deck makes it harder to find what you're looking for. <laughs> yes, so... Hmm. So the turn I plus Tamio and didn't kill their Soul Warden, if I had Mine? No, because I milled over the masterminds that turn. Rats. Rats. See if I can reconstruct my sideboard. Nope, took too long. Uh, we want to play first. Please, thank you. Uh... It's just like an omen of the sea. Uh, we have ritual asset. This. Yes. 
We have a few chances to draw into our lands to ritual. And hopefully win from there. Well, we drew a land. So that's a start. You made a thing. This one was a one. Let's see. Three, four, five, six, seven, ten, eleven. So I'm missing four cards. I found one of the four. Another one. Nope, that's not the one I wanted. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Two more. Two, two more to go. That's an untapped land. Kill that. Pass the turn. Uh, already got omniscience. Already got that. Let's see. Trophy lands. Yeah, that's fine. Of wishes. Ah, Blood Tears? Blood Tears already got. Wait, if I play this. No. It's fine. I'm trying trying to figure out this sideboard here. It's like thought erasures, right? There we go. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Okay. That worked. I have, I have fixed the issue that uh, we were having with um, Stream Decker. Yeah, these Rangers are really doing them some work here, huh? make a teamer for marty we gotta pet the cat oh buddy what you doing over here huh oh you're just hanging on for dear life look at that uh do i play out a fey as a blocker i have a second one here one two three four five six seven huh actually i think i do because This means, yeah. OK, 
Okay, one, two, three, four, and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, four, five, six. Okay. <laughs> All right, we're really close. We're gonna draw omniscience. No, I forgot about Giant Killer. It was in their hand the whole time. It was in their hand the whole time. Oh, that's just rude. Uh... Now we're missing so many permanents. Alright, well, we're not dead. So we got that going for us. And as far as we know, they have a bunch of one drops in their hand. They're being so smart by not playing this out, but shrug. <sighs> oh God. So try out the teamer floods. Okay, cool. I have it open here. I haven't really looked at it, but I have it open. Do I play this out or do I hold it? I think I hold it. I guess the upside to playing it out is I can Tameo next turn, which puts me to four, and then I can just start digging for Omniscience. True friends always stand by your side. I have zero interest in crafting it. <laughs> I already got it. Show me omniscience. Alright, so I can just pick up Rich a little bit next turn, I guess. Maybe that's a reason not to play this out. Come on. Ooh, they have mobilized district. That's cute. Let's see. Fae of Wishes, Thassa's Oracle in the main. Interesting. Oh, because you don't have... What's it called? Okay. Uh, Elvish Rejuvenator. Uro, Scholar of Ages in the main as well. So, here's the thing. Even though you don't have black mana, you need to put um, Mastermind's Acquisition in your sideboard so that you can just grab cards like Thassa's Oracle and Scholar of the Ages from your sideboard. I question this outcome. Heartless Act. Yeah. You want to you want you don't want it in your main. You would just want to be able to fetch it where you can find it cuz like as of right now you have no actual way of finding it in your deck. You just have to hope Tamio hits it. Yeah. 
Yeah, I'm not talking about Flood. I'm talking about Thassa's Oracle and Scholar of the Ages. Oh, right. Uh... Do I Flood here? If I Flood... I kill their board. Actually, I don't hate flooding. It's called for reinforcements. It also brings this back to their hands. We get a Fey shrug. Okay. So if we draw emergent, we're actually okay here. I guess bouncing a Johnny wasn't the best. Oh, that's annoying. That's really annoying? Holy crap, that's... Well, no, it's not that annoying, because Flood. Right. Flood helps. We're one mana short. I guess two mana short of Tamio being a good draw to just pick up Ritual Asset. But we do have three rituals in our deck, so that's still not a terrible draw. And we... One, two, okay, yeah. This can find us ritualist and we'd be fine. If I block here... Can I block here? Yes, I can block here. So three, four, five, six, we're dead. Uh, uh. All right, so let's talk about this and, and, and then go headlong into playing another deck that has the same issue this deck had. Why did I get so many cards? Why did I get six cards? I mean, like, I already have four of, of most of these. That was interesting. All right, so the issue that this, this deck has, we're able to control the board for a little bit, but what ends up happening... Oh, it didn't give me a reward after the Temple's deck. You're right. But what ends up happening, and one of them was the herder that it just gave us. So yeah, that's what happened. What ends up happening is we have such a large deck and not a ton of ways to dig through it that we've controlled the board, we've controlled the board, and they've refueled, and we haven't comboed yet. That that was sort of the issue we had. We ran into two aggro decks as well. We didn't get to play against the Dirtleaf deck. So our sideboard basically had no text outside of the combo. Um... I really I really think it's close, but yeah, that that's kind of an issue this this style deck has is like sure you've controlled the board for a little bit, but now you have to kill them and it's not happening. But all right. Let's uh import this one. See if we can't fix a couple